Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie of Ignite Cinemas. Today is Friday, so it's Final Cut Fridays. And on this Final Cut Friday, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add emojis in Final Cut. That's right. Add emojis using nothing but Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. All right, so I hope you guys are getting ready for the holidays. I got a new mic. Hopefully you're enjoying this quality better to my previous tutorials. Had to upgrade a little bit. But today I'm showing you guys how to use emojis in only Final Cut. And this is huge because if you're anything like me in the past, what you would have to do is you would have to go to pop up Google and say, um, maybe you wanted the money bag emoji. And then you have to go images and I don't know, you have to find one that's PNG would out, view image, like literally do all these steps. This is the steps you pretty much have to do. Boom. And then what you would do is you would, where is it at? It's on my desktop right here. Go ahead and grab it, put it on there, and boom, there you have your money bag emoji. Now, what if I told you there's an easier way to do this? And I already did this right here because cha-ching, got my money face popping. What you wanna do, let's say I wanna bring the same money emoji here without doing that process I just did, is you're gonna come over to titles and we're gonna go basic title and you go ahead, drop that down to your timeline. All right, click that. As you can see, it's right here. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna delete it. And here's the major key. This is what you wanna do. You wanna hit control, command, space bar. Do that at the same time. Oh my God, look what popped up right here. That's right. Look at all these emojis. Where's the muddy bag one? Let me see. Boom. Insert it. What do I have right there? A money bag. Let's make it bigger. Let's go 500. Let's scale it up. Look at that. And that was, that took a heck of a lot quicker compared to going to Google, finding the image and inserting it and all that other hoorah but you can adjust the size. Either way, if you wanna scale it or not, or you can use a transform button that I clicked right here when you have that selected and move up and down or in and out, I should say. And we can, yeah, look at that. Let's say also um, the font is set to a standard Helvetica for me. I don't know if it is for you, but it does change up if you use different fonts. So be aware of that. If you want a sure shot, keep it Helvetica, especially when you're using um, arrows. And I'll show you that right now. So control command space bar. And it'll pop up. My Mac's running a little slow. Sorry, I got had a lot of clients this week rendering a whole bunch of videos. But let me see, where's the arrows at? Let's say I want to point to something. Let's say I want to point to this magnificent beard that I have. All right, so now I have the arrow and then you can hit the transform button here and you can move it all around. So let's say I want to point there, drop that. And there you go. Now you have an arrow and you didn't have to do the extra going on Google, find an emoji or find an arrow. You have it right there. Again, you guys can change the size through here, move it around, hit transform, move it around. You can spin it spin it around all using transform and what i was saying earlier is let's say for example it's highlighted and you can change the look of the arrow by going to different fonts you know so i'm gonna keep it helvetica you guys can also i believe can you change the color let me see oh look at that you can change the color too i didn't know that at first i wonder if you can change the color of the money face i had let me see oh, i got that let me see, change the face. Let's see what we can do, can you? Okay, so you can't change the face of emoji, but you can change the color of the arrows, which is awesome. And there you have it. That's how you add emojis using nothing but Final Cut Pro. Easy tutorial for you guys. Hope you guys get some benefit from it. As an extra bonus, I'm gonna show you how to key this movement. So you wanna select, you wanna select the emoji you're working with. Hit this button right here to transform and I add my keyframe right here. And then with the right arrow key, you're gonna move accordingly and follow 
the movement and movement of your subject. In this case, this is a young me. When I was first speaking on camera, this is actually a blooper. Maybe one day I'll add it to the channel. It contains excessive language, so I'm not gonna do that right now. So as you can see, and that's how you do it. That's how you keyframe. That was an extra, extra bonus I gave to you guys. I hope this tutorial was easy for you guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Give me a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, as well as some unboxings, reviews, and vlogs, please don't hesitate. Hit that red button. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for finally letting me reach past 10,000 views. It keeps me wanting to go more. And I'm on the road to finally hitting 200 subs. So thank you all. And I can't wait to produce even better content coming into the new year. As always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.